is Kansas City. Yeah. Shit's ran gritty. Yeah. In the summertime, the chicks be damn pretty. Yeah. Born in the projects, then to the Ville. Yeah. You guys, it's me, Bossy, back with another story time video. This video is more on like kind of the serious side. This happened a long, long, very long time ago. Um, I want to say I might have been about maybe eight. I think eight maybe nine but I know I wasn't under the age of eight so this happened um, when my parents they were still married they were still together my dad he actually was at work and my brothers I believe I can't even remember where my brothers were um, my younger brothers they might have been in the house but I don't know my mother she was in the house like our neighborhood was a safe neighborhood we lived in all the neighbors knew everyone we just lived in a very nice area my grandmother lived right next door to us like you never saw a lot of craziness at all if any maybe a few times though but not a whole lot this particular day i was outside um i wasn't on the front porch because we had a front porch but then if you walked off our front porch we still have like a little concrete walkway and then at the bottom of our walkway there's another set of steps and then we have these like ledges that are right next to the steps if y'all know what i'm talking about um but anyway i was i guess outside why i really can't remember if i was waiting for my friends to come outside i don't know what i was doing but um i was sitting outside on the bottom steps and I was young but I remember this I think because it really traumatized me after a while and I knew it wasn't right I remember this it was like a kind of bluish gray Toyota Camry it kept driving back and forth I would see it at least two or three times and then finally it came down my street now it came down my street and the car slowed down and when the car slowed down uh the person in the car it was a mexican man um he looked like one of those mexican men and i'm not trying to offend anybody that's watching me that is of mexican descent or anything like that he looked like a mexican that would like work on a house or that did like that type of work and i'll tell you more why in a minute but um he was like looking both ways i noticed that because i'm sitting on the stairs just you know outside minding my own business he finally pulls um in front of my house like there's a street there's grass and there's a sidewalk and then from the sidewalk there's houses and then he parked right in front of our house he rolled down his window and he had uh he could speak english but you could tell like he didn't probably know a whole whole lot of english but he knew enough to get by and so he was like okay how our house was there was my house there was my grandmother's house on the uh, left side and then on the right side of my house there was like these big like apartment it wasn't even a, what I, I guess they're apartments it was like an apartment but it only had like four homes within the apartment and at the very top of the apartment there was this dog his name was nook i remember that because he used to scare the mess out of me there was a dog named nook and at this apartment they had like um there was a broken piece of their back porch and it was just enough for nook like to stick his like top part of like his head and like one of his paws he could reach out like i used to think he could like literally jump out but if he did he probably would die or hurt himself but like he would just always anytime a car pulled up or anytime we came outside or it was a bunch of noise nook would like point his head out and start barking and everything he was like a what do you call him a german shepherd and so uh the man when he rolled his window down anyway he rolled his window down and he was like i can't even remember how it started i just remember the part that really just freaked me out um 
he said something to me. He was like asking me who lived here. Now, before I even go any further, y'all, my parents did teach me not to speak to strangers. Uh, but I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Like I was tripping on a hundred, but he didn't seem like he was a bad man. He just looked like he was a hardworking guy. So I assumed maybe he had just gotten off work. I don't know. I was eight or nine years old. Okay. So anyway, he was asking me these questions. He was like, who lives there? And I'm like, uh, people, I don't know. Um, and then uh, he got out of his car and I just was still sitting on the stairs and he started walking towards me and he asked me who lives there who lives there so I told him a lady named Barbara and her dog and um, before Nook had popped out he was like after I said that he went and walked over like past my yard and like over and was like looking on the side of my house and around at the apartments the back of the apartments then Nook all of a sudden came from the top porch and stuck his head out and stuff and start barking really bad so then the man he came running from the side of the house and so then he asked me is this your house and I was like yes and he asked me are your parents home and i was like yes my parents are home i'm thinking he's like coming to he looked like what i had seen before like a, a mexican worker we had seen a lot of them um on our block that would like fix on people's houses and so i didn't i'm i'm not thinking i didn't think he was a bad man so i said yes my my mother's home my mother's home and he was like oh, okay then he asked me who lives in the house next to you and I told him my grandmother and he asked me he said is she home and from what I can remember I said I don't know I'm not sure now my grandmother had an indoor screen porch so it's one of the porches that aren't out in the open like you open the door you're on her porch but it's inside then if you open, knock on another door it's her house uh, some of you that watch my vlog channel might have seen it before he was like could you come here? I would need to talk to, I want to talk to her or something. He got me to where I got up off of the steps in the front of my house and I was walking him to my grandmother's house. I walk him to my grandmother's house cause it's right next door to my house. Like our houses were very close. He opens the door and he's just looking, but I don't know no better. I'm not, you know, I don't know why in the hell is he looking? So we get onto my grandma's porch and I was like, I remember this so good. I said, do you want me to knock on the door for her now so she can come? Like, do you want to talk to my grandmother? And he said, no, wait. And he opened the door to the front porch again and like was looking like he opened it and was looking outside like you can still see into her front porch but not that good um but then he shut the door and he locked it and i was like i can knock on the door so my grandma can come to the door and he said no 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 wait he walks away from me some um and on my grandmother's porch there's another window and you can see within her house but Sometimes she'll have her blinds open. Sometimes she'll have them closed. This time she had them open because she had plants on her little, what you call that little wood surface, the ledge or whatever, but she had plants sitting there. So she had her uh, blinds open and her curtains open. And like I said, I did not know if she was there or not. He's looking like in the house and I walk over there and I'm looking like I can knock on the door. I'll knock on the door or I can even ring the doorbell. All of a sudden he said, do you see that? And I'm like, see what? I don't see anything. He's like, look, look, look up there, up there, up there. Do you see that? And I was like, I can't see anything. Yes, I wear glasses y'all, but I was not, I didn't have bad vision then. And so um, he said, look, and then I didn't see it. So next thing you know, I'm, like I said, I'm facing towards my grandmother's door. He's behind me. He comes and he picks me up by my waist. And he was like, look, look, see, do you see that? And I don't see it. When I tell him I don't see it, I'm trying to squirm like, okay, can you put me down? I'm trying to tell him to put me down. Next thing I know, y'all, no lie. And I knew this was not supposed to happen. And I was so scared. While he had me up, he I was trying to wiggle to get down. I was like, okay, can you please put me back down now? 
he pumped my behind. Like, how can I say this? Like, he pumped, like he was pumping my behind. He did about, I can't remember, he did more than one pump, but he pumped like his privates on my behind. And finally when I screamed, can you put me down? He dropped me down. I didn't like fall on the floor, but he dropped me down and he hurried up and busted my grandma's porch door open and ran off the porch and ran in his car and he drove off. And I'm just still standing there on the porch like in shock like what happened? Now, kids ain't stupid. And at eight or nine, you know, I might have snuck and saw a movie. I might have snuck and seen stuff on TV that I shouldn't have seen before. And I knew him grinding on my behind while he was like, while he had me kind of lifted up. I knew that wasn't right. Like I was very, very short when I was younger. I'm still short. I'm only 4'11". So I wasn't even my height I am now. I guess he must have been sizing me up to see what he could do. But he literally picked me up to where my behind was in perfect line with his private area. And he pumped. Like, of course, he had on jeans. I had on jeans. He was picking me up, but he pumped my behind a couple of times. And he was strong. And the reason I say he looked like a like a, a Mexican that worked or did like construction because his fingernails were really dirty. It was a bunch of nasty dirt in his fingernails. His shirt was really dingy. I remember he had on a baseball cap. His hair was kind of not short, but you could see some of his hair from the underneath his baseball cap. Um, I remember he had on a, like a nasty like dingy shirt and he had on some blue jeans and he had on some boots y'all I can remember this to this day and he, I remember his car too and then I start ringing my grandmother's doorbell but she's not answering so she wasn't even home so then I just sat on her porch for a little bit and then I don't know why I was scared like I did something wrong but I end up getting off her porch and I walk back next door to my house when I opened the door and I walked in the house and I looked in the kitchen my mother wasn't in the kitchen so I run up the steps and she was in her bedroom laying down because you know my mother was sort of sick and she would get tired a lot and when I went up in her and I when I went up in my mom's and my dad's room she was laying down and I remember I was like kind of shaky. I can remember this so good. I remember I was kind of shaky. She was like, what's wrong, lady love? Cause she used to call me lady love. And I was like, nothing mama, nothing. And I just laid in the bed with her. Cause I was so scared to tell her what just happened. Y'all honestly, I was, I don't know why I was scared. Uh, you're supposed to tell stuff like that. Like you don't want to keep that in. Like you are supposed to tell stuff like that. But I thought I was going to get in trouble because one, I talked to a stranger and I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Two, I led this man onto my grandmother's porch. And three, I thought I would have been the one that did wrong because like I let this man pick me, like pick me up. Granted, I didn't know he was going to do that because he was behind me the whole time because I was in front of the door waiting to either ring the doorbell or knock on the door so my grandmother can come out because this man seemed like he wanted to speak to an adult. And for a minute, I did not want to go outside, y'all. I would think that that was going to happen like a lot. I didn't know if he was going to come back. I realized as I got older, because that used to play in my mind, I used to have dreams about it. As I got older and I thought about it, if Nook, the dog, hadn't like stuck his head out and start barking, because I ain't gonna lie, I was scared of that dog too, that man possibly could have asked me to go at the back on the side of that house because it's secluded. Like you can't see anything and God knows what he could have done. Like I couldn't be, I might not be here today. He could have actually really been able to do what he was intended to do without clothes on, basically dry humping me from the back. Um, he could have done a lot of stuff. And for the longest, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm being honest in my story time. So like I said, I don't want to offend anyone. 
and this is what happened to me and this was just my feelings and how I felt for a long time. Anytime I saw a Mexican person that looked like him as far as not just his actual features because I can't even remember his facial features that much. I would try to walk the other way when they would be like on our block like rebuilding people's roofs or something like I would try to hurry up and walk past because I would have to you know I used to ride the bus to school and we would have to walk you know down the block to get home we didn't get dropped off in front of our house but sometimes when I would walk from the bus stop say it was just maybe me my brothers didn't go to school that day for whatever reason I was walking home from off the bus and walking it was just one block it wasn't like crossing streets or nothing i was just walking from the end of the corner all the way to the other end of the corner where my house was and i remember i saw some mexican men um working on a house and i felt like they just kept staring at me like i actually would like turn toward the house and i felt like they were just looking at me and i got so scared and i just start running it was just a bunch of them so i had a fear of them for the longest so i think i stopped uh probably um by the time i got out of high school because I just assumed, I, I don't know, it just freaked me out and it scared me. And I knew that wasn't supposed to happen. And that man shouldn't have been picking me up and doing what he did. Um, And then, of course, I knew he knew what he did was wrong. Because he dropped me and ran off and got in his car and just like sped off. Um, But, yeah. And, oh, and my dad, I never told him. Because, you know, I don't know. I just never told my dad. I did tell my best friend. Um, I think I've told another family member. I've told a couple of like my cousins I'm really close to. And then of course I told my mom and she kind of was just like, why didn't I tell her sooner? Cause I didn't tell her then. I told her like years and years later. Um, but yeah, that is the time that I experienced something like that. Um, that's the only type of inappropriate behavior I've ever experienced as a child. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys because it could be someone else that has gone through something like that or even worse. And for any of you that have kids, please make your kids aware. Do not, no matter how the person looks, no matter how nice they look, how clean they look, if you think they're friendly or anything like that, do not talk to strangers. If you don't know these people, do not talk to them. Ignore them. Go in the house. I should have ignored him. I should have turned my little butt around and walked in my house and shut the door. Tell your parents if someone's outside trying to talk to you or somewhere talking to you that they shouldn't be. Um, you know, I always sit outside on my steps all the time we didn't have a unsafe neighborhood like this was all the time sometimes uh, a lot of the times yes it was me and my friends my neighbors next door my neighbors on the block uh you know we all was outside but that particular day they weren't outside fast enough as i was um so that happened and i always wondered if anybody like ever saw what happened because Normally it would be people like on their porches or normally, you know, people in our neighborhood, like people left their doors open, like their screen might've been closed, but the big door was open. Like you could sometimes see in our neighbor's house, that's how our neighborhood was. So I always wondered if anyone ever saw me. I know they wouldn't have seen what he did on the porch, but if anybody ever saw, you know, what was going on, but I never know. I, I never knew or found out if they did or not. But that was the story. Um, I hope you guys learned something from it. Please make sure your kids listen to what you tell them. Don't be fooled. Um, 
Yeah, and kids, if you're watching, don't wait to tell your parents if something happens to you. You need to tell them right then and there so they can fix the situation. Granted, if I even had told my mother right then and there, he was long gone. I don't know. I didn't know how to read license plates. I didn't know, you know, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.